We're having a lovely day today, and uh, God is good. It says in 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 16, How be it, for this cause I obtain mercy, that in me, first Jesus Christ, might show forth all on suffering for a pattern to them that should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. And then back at verse 15, he says, This is the faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the chief. He said, this is a faithful saying. A faithful saying. There's a lot of fake news out there today. We don't know what to believe. So much fake news. But it says here, a faithful saying. The word of God can be relied upon. The word of God can be trusted because it was breathed out by God. St. Paul said that scripture is God breathed. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That is God breathed. That, that the word of God is God breathed. It's from God. And God has a message. And it's a faithful message. No man can destroy it. Not the devil. Not secularism. Not political correctness. Nothing can destroy this faithful saying. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. We hear much news today. And there are many worthy causes today. But the greatest news and the most worthy cause in all the world is about Jesus Christ. All acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world not Buddha, not Mohammed, not Nietzsche, or Bertrand Russell. But Jesus Christ came into the world. He came from heaven. He said, I and my Father are one. He said, before, before I had the glory with you, and he had the glory with the Father, and he came down to heaven to do the Father's will. It was not Mohammed, it was not Buddha, it was not Nietzsche, it was not Bertrand Russell. It was Jesus Christ who came to do the Father's will and to bring glory to the Father. To bring glory to the Father. He wanted to honor the Father and bring glory to the Father. And to bring glory to the Father was to obey what the Father required. And that obedience was to go to the cross and to die for sinners. Jesus Christ was perfect. He was the Son of God. He is the Son of God. Muhammad ain't the Son of God. Buddha ain't the Son of God. Political correctness ain't the Son of God. They have no power. But Christ has power. But he is, and he is the only one who is the Son of God. Came into the world to what? Save sinners. He didn't come in the world to bring a new political solution. He didn't come into the world to give us human rights. He came into the world to save sinners. That's what he came into the world for. Because they're sinners because they, they are judged by the courts and that teaches you that one day there's going to be a final judgment. By who? By God. Then you know there's a God. I don't have to I don't have to prove it to you. I don't believe it to God. Do, do, do you believe that lying is right? Do, do you believe that lying is right? If you've, got, if you've got a wife or a girlfriend, if your girlfriend lied to you, everything she said, would you like that? 
that's where you know there's a God. Because inside you, you know that there's something yeah, that I, is, I know it's on my mind. You see, there's something there inside you that's telling you that it's God. It's my own mind. Well, well, where did you get that right wrong from? What I'm trying to establish, what, let, let me just say, right? if you're saying that you're questioning about right and wrong and lying, right? all I'm saying is if you believe in evolution that we came from monkeys, there is no right and wrong. Well, you said that, not me. Well, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just trying to show you the implications of evolution. I'm not saying you're saying that. Okay? I'm saying that if you believe in evolution, that there is no right and wrong. Because <coughs> right? evolution, nature doesn't tell you what's right and wrong. Right? So, when you have right and wrong, there's only one conclusion. We didn't evolve. That we're made in the image of God. There's a universal law out there of do unto others and you would have to do unto others. You cannot get that from monkeys and apes and I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. You can. I think you can. You can. But do you believe in evolution? I believe in being nice to people. Yeah, I, and I, not I, wrong to people. I think animals are the same. Right. Either well, monkey, monkey, giraffe, or an animal. Well, if, you, if, if you study, like, if you go on to Stanford University uh, website and you look at. Uh, it's a website, it's not, not animal psychology. No, it's, it's one of the best scholarly resources in the world on, on these topics. Right? Yeah, but is it true? No, it's not true. That's what I'm going to explain to you. Right? It, it talks about that evolutionary psychology is not a good way to understand morality because what we do is we project our ideas into the animals. Okay? We train, you tra we train the animals that way. Yeah, but, that but, but no, no, what we're saying is the animals don't know what's right and wrong. We, we, when no, we not, now that human beings. When we study them, we project our ideas into the animals. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? But it, what do you think about Jesus? I don't believe he exists. You don't, yeah, you don't, how come you don't believe he exists? Where is he? Right, I'll give you some evidences about Jesus, right? That he existed. Right, this is not in the Bible. Right? In AD 52, Thallus, you know when it said the dark cloud came? And when, you, 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 you know when it said, my name is Jason by the way. Neil. Neil. You know, you know when it said, you know the dark cloud, when Jesus was on the cross and there was a dark cloud? No, I don't, but... Well, there's a historian called Thallus, and he mentions that a cloud came over Jerusalem in 50 AD. Pliny, the younger, in 61 AD, he's a Roman historian, he mentions uh, that Christians were worshipping Jesus. Suetonius, another historian... So what? Can, can I just finish? Can I just finish? Yes, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Suetonius mentions Jesus, 69, 114 AD. He mentions about him being crucified. Tatus is a Roman historian, 56 to 120 AD, mentions Jesus was crucified. <laughs> Barasapian, uh, another uh, a kind of like poet, philosopher, he, he talked about Jesus, he was 70 AD. And then there's Lucian of Samosa, and then the Celsus. There's also Jewish Talmud. So all these sources are very early. So that's 17 AD? Yeah, so all these uh, account of the existence of Jesus and that's why Dominic Crossan said, who's a skeptic, he doesn't believe what I believe, said that Jesus dying on the cross is one of the most well attested facts in ancient history. So there's a lot of evidence. I, I believe I believe a lot of evidence I believe there. somebody was crucified on a cross. Okay, okay. Right. Who that may have been, you don't know, you don't know and I don't know. And I don't think we'll ever know. But be well, intellectually honest. I know you're intellectually honest. Before you were very sceptical. Now you're now you're at least saying he died on a cross. Someone died on a cross. Somebody did. Right, let me show you something else. Oh, we think they did. Let me show you something else. Because you, you're nearly there now. You believe someone was crucified. I've given you the evidence. Right? Here, 
it says there in 1 John, it says, That which once from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, and which we have looked upon in our hands of hand with the word of life, right? Now he's talking about, he's seen about Jesus, right? Now scholarship in the last eight years has moved rapidly in the academic world where they're beginning to see that the Gospels are based on eyewitness. So we have not only these sources outside the Gospels, historians and philosophers mentioning Jesus, we also, in the Gospel, we have eyewitnesses that saw Jesus rise from die on the, on the cross. Right, so where's God? So where's God? Well, 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 you could see God here in nature, for example. You can't right. see him anywhere, okay. mate. You in, in, in your body, you've got DNA, right? In your DNA, yes. in your DNA, there's information. There's three billion bits of information in your DNA. I don't know about mine, but... Not honest, honest, <laughs> I'm sure. There may be, but... Right. You know. No, there's three billion bits of information. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Now, if you get the Encyclopedia Britannica, there's, there's more information in your DNA than in those books. And we know a mind, minds put information in the Encyclopedia Britannica. But the, the yeah, but is that not a lie? Who's telling you that's true? Who's telling you that's true for what they put in the book? No, it doesn't matter what they put no, in. No, you saying it doesn't matter. No, the, the, what no you can't say that, can you? No, no. You can't say that. Can, can I just finish? No, no you can't okay. say that. Why? You can't say people are putting things in the book and what's in the book is true. No, the, you can't prove that. Prove that is the truth. But, no, what, I'm trying, I'm asking. What, what I'm trying to say is, right, there's loads of good information in the Encyclopedia Britannica. I, I don't disagree. Right, all I'm saying is, there's information in there. There's history, science, philosophy. There's all sorts of information. Yep. That's all I'm saying, bro. And I'm just saying that minds put that information in. Now, in your DNA, you have more complex information in your DNA than you have in the Encyclopedia Britannica. All I'm saying is that minds put the information in the DNA, in the Encyclopedia Britannica. In the book, yeah. Who put the information in your DNA? You can only have two conclusions. One is aliens, or two is God. Right. Do you get the point? Yep. Okay. Right, well... So I would say, where, where, that's, where, evidence, well, that's evidence of a, of a mind. Right, well, where are they? What do you mean? Where's, where's God and where's the aliens? Well, I'm just saying that... No, it's, where, where, it's, where are they? It's well, evidence, I'm asking you a civilised question. Uh, can I just finish? Can I just certainly, finish? mate. It's certainly. evidence of a mind. Now, how when you say, where are they? Yeah. God is a spirit. So, from a human... Who so doesn't exist then? Can, can, I just, can I just explain? Jesus says, we must, God is spirit, we must worship in spirit and in truth. So number one, God is a spirit. So you can't like see, a, uh, you can't see like a spirit, yeah? It's invisible to you. No, it's but, dead, so it's dead, but there is a spirit. So there is a spirit, but, but God is spirit, but as God, he's not just gonna, he's not a deaf and dumb God, he wants to communicate. So he's communicating. Well, I'm not saying, not saying you so know, he's that whatsoever. He's communicating to us through his word. And this is like the love letter to you and me. And this, and this is about redemption, about how we can get right with this God and know this God. Does that make sense? Yeah, but where's the aliens? No, I'm not. I don't believe in that. I'm not you, saying. You just said. No, I don't believe I, in aliens. I'm just saying. You just said there's, there's a God and there's aliens. No, so no, no, no. Listen, listen. You either listen. believe in one or you no, believe in no, the no, other. No, I'm, believe saying, in none. I'm saying there's information in your DNA. Yeah, I understand all that. It either comes I understand, from I understand, God. I understand I'm all saying, that. You take your choice. It's either from God or aliens. And I don't believe in aliens. I think it's come from God. You think you think that's from that's, that's, what, that's You what. think it's come from God. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. No, no problem. I think that's evidence for God. But if someone wants to believe in aliens, they could deduce that. Right. But that's their opinion. Yeah. yeah. That's what you've I'm got, saying. You've got yours. That's what I'm saying. People have got others. That's what I'm saying. Don't mind. All right. Thank you very much indeed. God Cheers. bless you, bud. Cheers, Cheers. So, Take care. If you died, if you died, where do you think you'd go? Well, couldn't give a monkeys. To be honest. Well, it, let's, let's, it's irrelevant. Let's just take the mind that there is a God. Just take the mind that there is a God. Come before God. How, how are you going to get into heaven? Is there a door? Is there a, what, what is there? Is, what do you mean how do you come into heaven? Is, I, I'm just asking you. You just you step into my... Just try and... Yeah, but you're, you're saying if I die when I go to heaven, I do get into heaven. I, I'm asking you, is there a door there? Do I knock on the door? Is there... A welcoming party, is there a coach? Well, there is a door, there is, is a door. Is there a coach there or is a whatever? Door. There is a right, door. You're saying there's a door, right, okay. And the door is Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's not a door, that's a human being. Well, Jesus it's not, it's said, not a door, is it? But Jesus said, I am the door. It means he is the way. It means he's the way into heaven. It's symbolic of him, you see. You see what I mean? 
But, but I'm just saying... Yeah, sort of, yeah but I'm slightly just, understand it, yeah. yeah but yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, from your point of view, even though you don't believe in God, if you were to die, you came before God, how... Would he let me in? How would he let you in, yeah. I'm asking you... Why, why would he let you? That's what well, I'm asking you, that. Oh, I'm asking you, why would he let you? Well, I'm saying he won't unless you believe certain things about Jesus. So where, where would I go then? He says, no, you're not going in. Well, there's a hell. Would he let me in? It, it all depends. Can I tell you what our message is, how you get in? It, it, no, you can ask, you cannot answer the question, if I were allowed to get into heaven, and I went to hell, how do we get into hell? If you just have as a door, if you, you get, get into if you heaven, get into, and, you're not, no, and if you're not allowed to die, you go to hell, so I, there must be a door or something not, where you go to hell, surely. Basically, I don't know how you, how, how you specifically, physically get in there, but what I know is that if you, God promises that if you believe in Jesus, uh, that he died for you and, and, and took the punishment for your sin, Jesus said this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him <coughs> shall not perish but have everlasting life. So when Jesus died, anything you've ever done wrong, he's dying in your place. He's taking your punishment for you. All right. And if you confess and be honest about your mistakes and trust in Jesus, say, Lord, please forgive me, at that moment you become saved. And at that moment, you're his child. So you're to live for him, and, and when you live for him and you die, you come before God. God said, what did you do with my son? You said you believed in him, you trusted him, and you obeyed him and followed him. God will let you in. But if you say, I just did my own thing, I ignored that, then you're missing out because you're missing it's the... Not question of being, it's not a question of being ignorant though, is it? It's a question of living your own life. I you wish to live your own life, really. But if there is no God, you can live... No, you, just, you just said there was. No, I know, I know, but just, I'm, I'm just, just... But you're not answering the question, are you? You're not, well, you're not answering I'm, the question. Yeah, that's the question, man, yeah. That's the question. If I live my life, how I live my life, do what I want, don't right. believe in Jesus, right. don't go to church, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's up to you, that's up to yourself, mate. No problem. I've no idea what I'm saying with that. Uh, he, you just said then, he won't have the door. And I will go to hell. Yeah, if you don't believe in Jesus. Right, so where is the he where is the door of hell? That's what, that's what I'm asking, but you know, so for some unknown reason, you don't seem to be answering that question. Well, I don't know where the door, the actual door is, but I know... So where's the door for heaven? The door is Jesus. He, he's the key to get so into So who's heaven. the devil? The devil is against Jesus. Yeah, but who is he? The devil is... It's like me being against you. There's, no, there's a de there the, devil, the devil is a spirit being, right? He's a, he's a fallen angel. He rebelled against God because he was proud, and he wanted to be like God, and he rebelled against God. And yeah, because that's of fine, that, that's fine, yeah. and because of that, he he came and he, he tempted Adam and Eve, and Eve rebelled, and Adam rebelled against God, and now the world's fallen in rebellion against God. And Jesus has came to turn back, to turn everything right, what Satan and Adam and Eve did wrong. So it's their Satan now, is it? But Satan, Not the devil. Satan's got a number of names in the Bible. It's called Ocalon, it's called Satan, it's called the devil. Yeah, it's but you're, the not, you're not answering the question of if I go to hell, who do I see? Do I see the devil? Do I see Satan? Or no. I will go if you, if, the name becomes a question. Like, if, like you, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, it talks about your past. I think that's quite irrelevant to be perfectly honest. Why? Why? Why is it? If I die, I die. Does it matter? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because there is a God and Jesus is the Son of God. He died and he rose again. No, you think, a, you think there's a God. It's true. You think there's a God. No, it's the truth. You can't even know anything without God. Without God, you can't even know anything. Right, so I've not got me on brain. Right, how do you know, if there is no God, how do you know that this world is real? To be fair, I was looking at monkeys, to be honest. Right, but the point is, is you don't know that this world is just make believe if there is no God. Could be. Right. So I just wake so, up in the morning, go to work. Yeah, yeah. But we and believe we believe right, so we believe in what is called the impossibilities of the country. Without the idea that so what, what do you do in the morning? Let, let, let me just finish. Yes, yeah, certainly. Finish. Without without God, we can't know anything. Let me explain. God has made reality and our senses to interact with reality. Without that idea, you couldn't know anything. So you need God to have a basis of knowledge. So why is the world shit? Because man's rebelled against God. 
man's it, man's yeah, turned it's, it's away. All about, it's all about God, apparently. All these wars we're having now are all about God, surely. All about Islam and all right. you know, who's killing each other. Did Jesus kill or, anybody? Or, did Jesus kill anybody? I, I, I didn't know the bloke. Did, you, did he kill anybody? I, 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 I didn't know the bloke. Well, this, this so is I his teaching. The this is yeah, teaching. Like. This is his teaching. No greater love than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Right? And he taught to love one another. Right? That's his teaching. So any wars that are going on at the moment in the name of religion, that's not in the name of Jesus and his teaching. So what's it in the name of? It's in the name of their ideology and their ideas of Islam and whatever they teach. It's not in the no, name of Jesus. I don't mean Jesus. just Islam specific. I mean Christians, everybody, right? <laughs> right? Anybody yeah, who's fighting and killing any, anybody who, or anybody who walks past here now and just smacks them in the face and kills any, them. It doesn't who, who, matter who they are, white, black, yellow. Purple, whatever well, it, they are. It, well, it does in terms of their ideas. You can't get the idea of war from Jesus. You can't get. Say good. You can get the idea of war from Muhammad, but not Jesus. Well, who, who's Muhammad? Well, Muhammad's uh, a false prophet. In your eyes? No, that's the truth. No, that's in your eyes. Well, prove it. I could prove it. Well, people who believe in Muhammad will say exactly what you are saying to me. Yeah, but they haven't got the Surely. evidence. Well, they will show me a piece of paper that says... Blah, blah, blah. Well, well I can give you the evidence. No, I'm not going to prove...